I'm going to show this part. This is your <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nello here as usual. And with me today is Adeze from Adeze Space here. You know the you, I call you Adeze, I think. You mm. call yourself Adeze, but I feel like a lot of people say Adeze. How and do you Adeze. pronounce it? How I call it Adeze, but Adeze, Adeze is, is still actually correct. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back, guys. Today we are collaborating, obviously. And this collaboration is long overdue. We have actually <laughs> filmed a video like, is it up to two, three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. And I lost the clips of my video, maybe for a reason, because I feel like today's video is more interesting, yeah. actually. I love the clips. Adesa still has hers, which is up on her channel. So, guys, don't forget to head on to Adesa's channel to watch her video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Please. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally begging people. I beg. I'm going to put. Um, details to her channel down below and direct link to her video so please don't forget to stop by and say hi okay i have two things that inspired today's video i feel like i'm talking too much i'm not saying anything no i'll sit down <laughs> i have two things that inspired today's video first one is adesa's last video where she was ranting about one store that she normally goes to or that she wanted to go, go to, to yeah <laughs> okay actually the, the store i heard too much about the store is a salon stroke um child play center or yeah. something so after hearing so much about it, I got there and found that it had closed down and in fact it was just annoying. She was annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that inspired this plus last my last collaboration with Kelechi and the part where she asked me about my greatest fear, she thought my greatest fear was failure, which is really not. So but basically that's what inspired today's video. And we're just going to have like a real discussion. Just go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I have a paper here where I wrote down some stuff. It's not really anything serious, but just like points that I really wanted to talk about in this video. Basically, we're here to discuss failure. Failure. So you failure in business. In business, so failure in, in life, <laughs> failure in just general. I think yeah, yeah. failure in general, yeah. shall, but maybe especially in like businesses or where you are in your life, you know. Exactly. And let's start from what you talked about in your video. So okay. talk about like the store and everything. Okay, so this store, like from what I heard, that the store is a salon stroke. Um, I think holiday, not holiday lessons, but they have um, lessons that they do there, like karate lessons. Um, basically, different stuff for mm -hmm. children, right? But they moved to a new place in Jerry, to a better place. So I was really excited, and I heard that the place was so big and nice. And because my daughter is very, she doesn't like making her hair, I was like, okay, let me take her to a place where children can sit and make hair mm -hmm. that is made for children. Only for me to get there, I saw the big, very nice compound. I saw their signboard, very big. I was really excited. Only for the, the security man to that they moved. I was like, ah. I now got the number on the signboard and called. And the lady now told me, oh, yes, that um, they were actually there before, but they've closed down now. That should give me a number for someone else, another salon for me to go to. And when I heard it, I was like, why? Because this looks like something, it's something that I even. When I heard it, I was like, this is a very fantastic idea that all parents, but most parents are going to like it if they hear about it. So why did it close down? So I was really ranting because I felt that probably they didn't do their research well or they didn't do what they're supposed to do before they started the, the salon. So that was what I was ranting about in that video. You guys, we just exchanged because we're looking at the camera like it just, it wasn't looking mm -hmm. right. But I feel like it looks better now. In case we're wondering, that's what happened. We just switched places, okay? Anyways, so after Adeze, ranted about the whole store closing i remember leaving a long comment on her page it was long i deleted some <laughs> i remember leaving a long comment but what i was basically saying is that when it comes to businesses or like anything we get ourselves involved in is just is more than other people see for example let's take like a makeup artist as an example she will pay a lot of money go to the best person to train her do all the work learn from youtube put in a whole lot of money and buy makeup products and stuff and then the country we live in is, is just oh, it's a problem you guys after someone invests all that money some of them invest as much as 500,000 1M depending on where you learn what you buy and stuff you don't want to do someone's makeup at the end of the day and the person is like oh I know somebody else that would do this makeup for 2-5 why are you charging 15,000 and what people don't understand is like that charge is not just about the actual yeah. makeup they do. Exactly. It's a lot more than that. Their training, the, their, her training is different. The product she uses is different. 
her as a person, her experience, your pain for all that. You're like, you're just paying for a lot of things when you And then profit. When you're because all the stuff that we're talking about, my own profit. Exactly, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like sometimes businesses put in a lot of work, but we, I, I might obviously fall guilty as well. I probably do this sometimes, but we just don't see it and we just underprice them. And at the end of the day, we kind of run them out of business. It's not like anybody starts up a business and hopes to fail or hopes not to make it in that business. No, a lot of people actually put in a whole lot of work. And another thing I was trying to tell you is that sometimes people just grow out of things. Like, yeah. people actually just do. I know I have a lot of businesses that I just grow out of and I'm no more that interested in it and I just don't want to go on with it, you know. And I, another person might see it as I give up, I don't, but it's not me giving up, it's probably I'm, I've moved on to something so better. Nice. I, and it doesn't make me weak, it doesn't make me a failure, it just means that I have Simply you have evolved, yeah. You are, you are now in your next phase in life because exactly. actually things are in phases. Exactly, yeah, and so. I'm that kind of person that I can be doing this now, and once I lose interest, I can't continue. I don't know how yes, to do something like that, so. I'm not interested in. Yeah. So if something is not working out for you, just it's okay to move on. Don't mind that yes. then I'll be ranting. Why they close? But I was just trying to make her understand mm. that it's just. A lot more than and you know, know, I've actually learned something from you. Not just before, not just since we met. Before we met, really I noticed know. that you have nail shop, nail this, mm -hmm. nail that. And I said, if this one person, and she's still a YouTuber, she's still a mom, still yeah. everything. If she has all these businesses, I mean, it doesn't mean that she's hustling. She doesn't do. She's not. No, going I'm to hustling. Eat. No, what I mean is that as in, even though you're hustling, it doesn't mean yeah. that you're doing it because ah, if she doesn't do, she's not going to eat. Yeah, she's doing it because that's what she wants. It's what do. I want. It's yeah, what so I like doing, and I'm me, just giving it a try. And I might have like all of them. It doesn't mm. mean that in two years I'll be interested in all of them, or mm. all of them will work. Obviously, some of them are doing better than others. Oh, yeah. So what I normally do is after a year or two, I just like um, what's it called, analyze and see, okay. This one is bringing in a whole lot of money. This one is bringing in okay money, but these two, eh, not so much. Then, mm -hmm. fine, I'll let those two go and just find something else to replace them. And even if I don't find something else, I'll continue with the ones mm -hmm. I have. But I know me, I'm, I'm a multitasker. Mm -hmm. I said yes. it right, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm a multitasker. Yes. So, mm -hmm. like, it's easy for me to just do a lot of things at the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And, like, um, Butter Boy said, You've done good things today. Just <laughs> money. I'm telling you, money. Who are you? Who am I? You understand? No, okay, there's something that happened to me. Before now, I wasn't doing much. I was kind of person that I, I, I had this like what? Yeah, I just like, chopping your past. No, <laughs> no, I had this fear of failure. Like I'm for serious. real, guys, I had this fear. That really holds a lot of people back. Yes, but something happened when I turned. And again, is that a fear of what other people think? Would when think, you feel. yeah, exactly. So something, something happened to me when I turned thirty. I just woke up one morning and I was like, it doesn't matter whether I feel at something or not. I, had, I was, I was like advising on. one of my friends recently, see, uh, anything you want to do, just go ahead and do it. You can never tell where that thing is going to take you to. Don't be limiting yourself based on what people will say, another person that's experienced, someone told you, ah, I tried this business, it didn't work for me. Ask yourself, What's the, what's the worst that can happen? That it didn't work for someone that doesn't mean that it won't work for you. Exactly. You don't know the details of person, that person left out from why their own business did not work. You're not saying that person might even be doing everything right, but you can just be more lucky. Lucky, exactly. Sometimes it's as simple exactly. as luck. Because, for example, when it comes to makeup and YouTube and stuff, a lot of you, I know YouTubers that put in so much, much. more. My friend Kleech puts in so much more work than I actually do. Like when I mean work, even at Desi here, actually, I feel like you put in a lot more work than yeah. I do. Because you do DIYs. <laughs> like your video that I watched yesterday, you freaking let it marinate for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> I don't have time to do that, you know? So, like, you people put in a lot of work. You don't have a lot of following, does not mean that. You, you don't do put in right. the work. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It's like you're doing everything right. And some people are just lucky. Sometimes I consider myself lucky as much as I know I work hard. So for me, it's like a mixture of both. I work hard and then I feel like I'm just lucky. I'm just a lucky person. Not just about you to be my life, my family, you know, my mm -hmm. kids. I'm just generally a lucky person. I didn't mm -hmm. used to think that. But right now, I actually know I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah. I swear. But not everybody is that lucky. So sometimes... Your friend might be doing something, they're not succeeding. You can start it the next minute and exactly. you make it so much more than you ever, ever thought you would in this life. So don't, mm -hmm. don't let another person's failure keep you from yeah. trying. And again, I don't like to the word failure, sincerely speaking, just because I just feel like it's, it's, it's such... 
It's a word that holds people back. It's just such. It's not a shame. I don't you, know how to. You even said this in your last video that yeah. it's not like a person failed. The person moved yeah, on. Yeah, you person, just moved on. You, you just. Tried it just more. didn't work mm -hmm. out. It's not a failure. It's just like. Let's say you're trying to get pregnant, for example, mm -hmm. you try the first two months, three months, one year, it doesn't work out and you just give up. So that's how you're not going to have kids for the rest exactly. of your life. That's how you're not going to feel that joy that comes from being a mother or father. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't make sense. You know, a lot of people that have fertility issues, they keep trying to, yeah. at the end of the day, they find a solution. So that's how mm -hmm. it is. They don't call themselves failure. failure There's yeah. nothing like failure. You just try. It might take you two years, four mm -hmm. years. It took you four years. Oh, yes, you made a yeah, video exactly. about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that video link also down below. You guys should watch it. It's actually really, really interesting and educating. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all I'm trying to say is that if something is not working, try again or try something else. Even mm -hmm. for you, like your case when it comes to fertility, yeah. you tried I another try. doctor, something else, and then it worked. It worked exactly. So you just it's, you didn't fail. It's, mm -hmm. You didn't fail. You just and, and just sometimes what people don't know is that it actually sometimes it works when you least expect it. Yeah. So don't think. Come, I, I see some people that put their mind in maybe this business or these things. What is going to help me blow in life? This is going to is what's going to help me become the best. It might not be that thing that you're putting your mind. It might be something. It might be something you. else. It might be something else. I want to give an example. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I started with makeup tutorials and gele tutorials. I'm sure I have a bunch of followers here that follow because of my gele tutorial or probably my makeup tutorial. But that's how I started YouTube. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just like I love makeup, but it's not like. I don't know how to put it. It's not what I enjoy doing the most. I enjoy mm -hmm. doing makeup more. Like I enjoy a whole lot of other things it's more. Long, Spending yeah. time with my family, just vlogging about it, cooking, all those other things I love now. And I'm incorporating all that into this channel now. And it's actually what is making me do better now. Mm -hmm. Let's say you start out your channel as a makeup channel and you see it's not working. You do have to you stick have to, to that. Yeah, yeah. Try something else. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised that you've been doing this. You have 100 subscribers. Mm -hmm. You're doing makeup. At the end of the day, like... Even, Personally, even, so I don't know how many makeup tutorials I watch these days. Even Patricia Bright, I remember she used to do Patricia, makeup a lot. Patricia, yes. But now she now like, does her um, clothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. she used to do try on, she used to do makeup, mm -hmm. she used to do. But now, a lot, you have to evolve with the world. So exactly. you're not failing, the world is just evolving, and you have to evolve, evolve with, with the rest of us. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. So if something is not working, don't just see it as a failure. Don't even use that word failure, failure at all. Nobody is a failure. We're all just working hard to achieve what we want to achieve in life. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is something I'm very, very passionate about. Yeah, I yes. said because yeah, and it makes so much sense. Yeah. And there's something else that I wanted to say. If you see someone who is not doing well or you feel the person is not, don't see that the person has failed. If you can help the person, if you can advise the person, fine. If you cannot... Move on, don't nobody, move down on someone. Nobody is better than anybody, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, I met Adesu from you, freaking YouTube. I'm now we're friends. Exactly. I'm, I'm sure there are so many ways she can actually help my situation mm -hmm. in real life as much as I can help her or help me find solutions to things. I'm just saying, like, because you have 1 million subscribers, yeah, doesn't make you better than someone with like 100. Mm -hmm. This is just numbers on YouTube. And minus even YouTube, you can be in your business, you're doing better. Help other people. It does yeah. not hurt to help. I wish people understood it. So, <laughs> yeah, like we, we, we have lift each other, lift, lift other people up too. Yeah. In anything, because even on on Instagram and Facebook, when I talk about some things about childcare, I remember somebody DMing me one time to say, ah, all these things that you are, you are giving up for free, people gonna pay big money. Although how to she help so much? She was telling me, you know, people pay, pay big money to learn all these things. Mm -hmm. I was like, my dear, anybody I can help, I'll help. There's no yeah. point trying to hold information or trying to sell yeah. information that you know that is something simple. Yeah. Like for instance, I was teaching people how to make um, body butter for children. Let me, let me Very tell you. simple. Another mm -hmm. thing, yeah, all those things you teach us to make. I'm not doing it. I'll pay somebody I'll to do it. There are people like me in this life, okay? It's true, I'm not about to do any DIY. It's not my it's true, calling. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. And I definitely don't have the patience to do that, okay? I will pay somebody to do it. Do That's it, why exactly. there are people like me that like it. I'll be paid to do it. Because I ain't about to even like teach it from today to next year. I am not doing it. That's just, that just the truth about the matter. So if we don't, like, let the people that can learn it learn. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to still pay you for that service. Just like YouTube. There's a million and one makeup tutorials on YouTube, then oh, I'm sure up to a billion makeup tutorials exactly. on YouTube. Makeup artists are still doing well. Still doing well, well, very well. Makeup, so. so it doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't affect their market in any mm -hmm. way. Yeah, I mean, uh, even some people, even after you put them, when they try, they'll just be like, in fact, this thing is not for me. So let me go and pay someone else. So exactly the market, the 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 what they call it now, the river is very 
it's food it's, and it's overflowing. Overflow. So, anyways, that's what we want to talk about. And last but not the least, and the most important part of this whole discussion, what did you people get to take out of this discussion? <laughs> Do not give up. You Do are not, not a up. failure. Yeah. It's just that simple. We are not failures and we are not giving up. Mm-hmm. If something is not working, yeah. try something else. Move on. Like you said before, all these billionaires, you know how many businesses they failed out. We don't know. We don't know how many things they tried before they finally made it. But we just see them billionaires and we just want to be billionaires overnight. Like Mm-hmm. It doesn't work that way, so you have to keep trying till you find what just two of us can try the same things like ten ten times, for example. It can work out for me the first time and I can thrive in it. You can mm-hmm. try it another one million times and it will never it work never for you. Out, yeah. But the moment you just change and try something else, you will yeah, be shocked exactly. at how much you will just boom and grow and everything. So what works for me doesn't necessarily have to work for you. So I hope you guys learned one or two things from this video. Yes, please, just move on, okay? Mm. All the people that, you know, were scared to see us as failure, like let's say you start a business on Instagram, let's say I sell clothes now and it's not selling out for me. I'm scared that people will now say, oh, this girl's store has mm. closed down, this girl is not doing well. Those people don't even, even care yeah, about that, you. Actually, that's just the truth. People don't, don't even care. care. Like, the words they will do is gossip about you behind your back, but it doesn't affect your life. But you know the funny thing I've even learned? People oh. that actually gossip about you are people that really care. It's people that care about you because truly people that don't care about you, they don't really think they don't no, seriously, the only thing that care that okay, like like they're, they're bothered by you, like yes, yeah, they yes, see you yes, are, yes. That, most people don't really care, they just see you, okay, fine, she didn't she has stopped it. They just exactly. move on. So Stop thinking about what people think, or if not, you just you use yourself. Stuck there, you stuck there, or I should not move on. <laughs> really Basically, yeah, 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 that's what we wanted to come out here and discuss with you guys. That is it that motivated this <laughs> from her ranting about the poor woman that closed her shop. She was just ranting in such a way that why would she start the business in the first place? Why would she do this? No, 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 actually, it's actually partially still the mindset that I always have about some things. Yeah, like I usually feel that. Instead of you to try some things, but that's for you to keep your money in the bank. No, you have to change that. Yeah, but you have to try, yeah. Because the person might have tried that, and she now she knows that this okay, is not, it's for, not her. for her. Yeah, that's true. But imagine if you never try, mm. and for years to come, you're still wondering what if, 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 you know, it's not good. Better to try and move on. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I, I've said this thing like five, ten minutes ago, but yeah. hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just nice to sit down here and just have a quick chat with you guys. And yeah, don't forget to head on to Adesis channel to watch our video there. Um, we filmed a ten minutes uh, makeup, uh, makeup challenge, challenge yeah. kind of thing. So head on there and watch. I did you actually did very well because I don't yeah. remember. How, it's been a while we actually filmed that. We had to refilm this one, like I said. Anyways, I'm happy again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and head over to Adesis channel to watch her video. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, Bye guys.